I don't know. I don't know what it's all about. Because on the one hand, I feel like I'm the glacier. I am meters of ice and I'm just cold to the bone and ancient. And on the other hand, I feel like I'm the volcano and I'm just completely birthing from the center of the earth. And sometimes I think I'm trying to resolve these two in me. And I think that, that my way of being able to do that is through art. What I'm trying to do at the moment is try to explore the relationship between the earth and the body. The earth has been important, really, really important to me. I lived with my grandparents in Devon and then I was taken on a ship for months and my mother and aunt and I emigrated to New Zealand. And we were in New Zealand for nine months and then we were on a ship again through the Hawaiian Islands to New York and then to Canada. It feels as if my ground was taken away from me and I had to somehow make a connection and find a connection, a link between the countries. Somehow the earth became really important to me because it linked me to the people that I loved. I now only paint and make live art that comes out of the processes of the painting. Previously I made sculpture and earthwork. I was making a lot of work which was to do with an arc, which to me symbolised the earth. It was the mountains, the landscape, a kind of illustrative idea of of the land. More recently, it's become much more abandoned, exploring more just the essence of what we're made of, the fire from the center of the earth. I was in Iceland recently, so I had been there watching this volcano birthing the new rocks from the centre. And I had collected cinders and I've got bags of cinders and ash. I thought that I'd be using these materials on the canvases, but actually it just feels way too precious to put on the canvases. I just want to keep it in, in my bags and and use the energy of it or the idea of it and just have it in my studio and the feeling that it evokes in me, use that feeling to then put that onto the canvases. I think the volcano inside of me has been lurking all the time and I didn't realise it was a volcano. But I think it's been building up an eruption. What I've been doing with the paintings is putting many canvases all over the floor and then seeing how far my body throw can throw the material across the canvases.
being in touch with the volcanoes directly has sort of helped me release that and the throws just got bigger. A lot of the time it's about the throw, not about what happens on the canvas. If I can just be in the moment with the material, with the idea, there are moments when I can sort of feel like I'm in another place. There's something about the way that I work that is about completely letting go of everything that I know. Working on a very large scale has meant that that surrendering to the not knowing has, has expanded as well. All I know that is that I'm capturing an energy, expressing an energy, and then putting it on the wall, and then it's becoming another energy, another feeling, painting into them as if they're then one again, and then they're taken off again randomly, shuffled, put back on the floor, I uh, throw onto them again so that they've become one again. So there's this constant building something that makes sense, and then a shuffling, a random shuffling, losing the thing that made sense in order to find something else. On my last trip, the volcano had stopped erupting and the ash was settling and the grass was starting to grow through and the flowers were starting to come up with this really highly fertile ash. After the sort of what seems to be a devastating eruption, the new life that's coming through. Do you know what? It just brings me to such a silent place that there aren't almost any words to articulate it. It just feels so profound and so deep. It feels like that the dust that comes out of the volcano is the breath of the earth. And then if I'm ever cremated, then I'll be ash and my son will be ash one day. I mean, that just completely breaks my heart if I think of that. But if I can somehow get in touch with the ash and know the ash, know the root of the ash and the journey of the ash, then it's not so bad that I can be part of that.